welcome to the fourth moment pitch side. We're here with uh, Coach Roscoe Cleaning. Now it's Super Sport. Yeah. Roscoe, how are you doing? I'm well yourself. All right, man. Tell us quickly. We want to know more about Roscoe. We know you were in Cape Town a couple of years ago. One of the one of our best coaches we we have. I won't say we had. Tell us about your journey quickly. Well, no, I'm from Cape Town. Started with my coaching in Cape Town. It's about what 15 years now I've been coaching. Mm. And yeah, it's been a long journey. Still not where I want. Yeah. Not where I want to be, but I, I, on the process where. I'm, to going to where I want to get. Uh, it's a hard process. It's, it's a, you have to be dedicated towards the trade, um, putting the time, the effort, willing to take your own money and put it into yourself. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of sacrifice. Like I was willing to. You got to be willing to live away from home, um, see the family whenever you get to see the family. Mm. But um, I've, I've made big sacrifices in, in the jobs. I used to be uh, work at a private school, okay. and you know the cushy job. Wow, you got your payment every month, everything is yeah. fine. And you, you know you're not going to get fired at that kind yeah. of position. But in football, it's a different position. It's, it's, it's results driven in, in academy spaces. It's more about your development of players. But in the country, to get to the next level, it's about pushing yourself. And to be seen amongst the who's who in coaching. Okay, so um, what made you uh, take that action though? Leaving the cushy job and then putting it all on the line, so to say. So I've always said I would love to be in professional football. Mm. Like it's not for the fame or for the glory. Coaching for me was always about mentorship of young players, okay. not young boys. And I spoke about this a few weeks ago where we've been looking at COVID, the big, the big thing about gender-based violence, violence yes. when males were the big problem we got in there. So with, with, in football as a coach, I felt I can make a bit of a difference in the sense of working with males, yeah. being hands-on, and hopefully I could be a, some sort of mentor towards them to yeah. show them that, yes, they can take their talent and become good footballers, footballers yeah. but also there's a way and a culture you've got to be in, mm. a person that you've got to be um, and make better men of themselves, yeah. right? Because these men are going to get, hopefully one day have wives, wives and kids and, and change their lives. Yeah. So that's, the, for me, I get that's the passion for me, to see a kid come from absolutely nowhere and change his life, not yeah. only his life, but his family's life. That, that, family. That's the the real passion behind the football coaches. Quickly, just um, what what word of advice can you give to coaches out there? At the moment, I can tell you, coaching fraternity in Cape Town is booming. A lot of young coaches. Uh, we're trying to give as much education as possible. Um, guys are doing their stuff, like creative courses. There's guys like ourselves doing workshops and so on. Um, you know, but it, what what advice would you give? Because you've, you've you know you've traveled that journey so yeah. far. Look, I, I said I said to someone yesterday actually said. I'm someone that even if there's a KNVB course in mm. Joburg, mm. I tend to pop in at the course mm. just to keep listening because mm. I'm never going to, I'm always going to be able to learn from someone else. Yeah. No matter who I learn. So no matter who's on the course, I can learn from them. So yes, do your courses because you've you, you, you got to put the time in. Um, then linking yourself up with professional clubs, it's always a good thing because you can learn from those coaches and see what professional outfits are about. And then take those things into the groups and the communities that you come from. And that's I think that's what I did when I was working at Saxon Rose back in the back in the day, is that I put big discipline goals on my players okay. because you know these kids come from this yes. color community yeah. and they have their, they have their naughty habits yeah. and we got to pull them right. And today you get a player that I coached back then, he'll say, geez, wow, I respect for what you did. Yeah. He's, he's got married. He's, I think one of my players is a pastor now. <laughs> okay. So that, and he was on the place that phoned me because we had an argument. Yeah. He said, me, wow, I, I always look back to what you did. Okay. And those, so then I know I've done something different yeah. in that kid's life. Yeah. So regarding the coaching, it's also you don't stop learning. Mm. You never, the game's always progressing. Mm. And especially it's going to a new technical age now. Yes. Be open to learning and be, being technical with the football. I think that's what I don't think I, I've done. I've never closed myself to that. Like, oh, I know everything. You, you never know everything in yeah. football. Football's always progressing. Yeah. It's that next step now. Yeah. Look, I think we can go on hold on hold. Yeah, no, definitely. Let's just chat quickly about the Bale Premier Cup 2022. Yeah. You here, obviously, as a scout for yeah. Super Sport. Yeah. Um, how's the tournament been for you so far? Look, there's been a decent level of, of football. I must say that, uh, that the foot, our current crop of talent in Super Sport, we've got a very good group of players. So mm. to find a group, uh, that age group, it, it's, it's much harder because we're looking for quite a younger mm. generation. If you look at our first team currently, they're quite young. Okay. So the next step is are looking for our two or fours, two or fives. Yeah. But they are, obviously, there's always, Cape Town always has talent. Yes, let's, not, let's not deny ourselves, the Cape Town always has talent. Yeah. So there are a few times that Puntu did, did well, his, his boys at Rashi Park that I was interested in. Um, was Cape Town Spurs last night, everyone was raving about the one boy. Yes. I felt that, that, 
that's more the talent that you want Looking to see on the park. That's what we know about yeah. the bail. That kind of talent is we know about the bail. Uh, the bail's always on earth talent. Yeah. It's always going to do that. It's, it's now for the bail to take it to that next level again. Yeah. I think that's important for, for this. And look, I think the people that have missed the tournament, the support's been amazing. amazing like, yeah. It's great to see people back at the field. Yeah. I think people have been itching to be back there. <laughs> yeah. And it was nice. I guess it was nice that they allowed um, three um, an, an over 19s to yeah. today over 19 to play in the tournament yeah. Yeah. now okay look thanks for chatting to us no uh, really appreciate it and uh, yeah look from outside wishing you everything of the best with your career yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it's going to be one day we're going to see you there hopefully yeah. <laughs> it takes time yeah patience but yeah and, uh, enjoy the, the trip as well, eh? back home <laughs> sure no problem you. guys that was Roscoe Kreeling um, yeah he had a quick chat to us um, about his coaching career about the, the football at the Bale Premier Cup and uh, yeah we'll catch you next time yeah.